Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about cricket on free to air television. And of course, this is a little bit ludicrous. The T20 World Cup in Australia will not be shown on free to air TV as of now. It is shown that Foxtel and KO will be broadcasting it. And you may be asking, wow, they're really good cricket broadcasters. What is your problem, Ethan? Well, let me just dive into the facts. Firstly, look at the TV viewing figures and the spectators for the ODIs that were had free-to-air coverage. Australia v England, that fifth ODI, had over a million TV viewers on Channel 9 and had a full stadium in Optus. Yes, it might have been the first game there, but still. Then they played a one-dayer in Perth nine months later, exclusively on pay TV. It only got 250,000 viewers and it also only had 20,000 spectators. And this has nothing to do with weather. It was 21 degrees and sunny. It's not a hot day, so that's not an excuse. And the viewing figures, so much less than Channel 9's. So take the money, right? It's an investment of the future. If you have Channel 9 showing the cricket, the T20 World Cup, this is in UAE, so the spectator thing is irrelevant. If you have this free-to-air coverage, it makes it accessible to more people, meaning that more people would be motivated to play cricket. You often see people talking about the cricket more when it's on free-to-air. I certainly find that. And when the viewing is higher, you get new players into the sport, boosting the sport's popularity and making a stronger Australian team, which you guys actually may think we want India to be better or we want England to be better, but they won't be thinking that. Ethically, you would think they would treat every team equally. You would think so to some degree. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. Now, it's great that Foxtel are able to show the cricket. However, serious events like the T20 World Cup just need free-to-air coverage because this is a decider for the best nations in the world at cricket. And not just for Australia to broadcast on free-to-air, but across the world on BBC or Channel 4 in England, in, I think it's DD Sports in India. I know DoorDash is a bit old-fashioned, but, you know, that sort of stuff. Free-to-air is what cricket needs. The 100 tournament got a lot of viewers on the BBC. 2 million viewers. And we were all saying about how cricket is a fringe sport in England. 2 million viewers, which is five times as many as Sky. So regardless of what country you have a look at, free-to-air benefits. And even if the money is slightly different, like Cricket Australia, for example, they had a choice between Channel 9 and Channel 10 for $800 million for six years, or 7 and Foxtel for $1.2 billion. You probably would take the money thinking about it quickly. But if it's more free-to-wear exposure, a couple hundred million dollars you'll lose. But imagine how many young cricketers you'll inspire and that long-term investment will create growth. It can't just be some women's matches in a, in a test match and a bit of big bash and a little bit of WBBL on free-to-wear. You need to have the whole lot. It doesn't matter what gender they are or what team they are. World Cups need free-to-air coverage. And I think what made that 2020 Women's T20 World Cup excellent was free-to-air television, having that on. Also, the Olympics, currently on right now. Free-to-air is getting people together as a community and watching cricket and other sports on the Olympics. I mean, the Olympics doesn't have cricket, but same idea. The AFL, Australia's national sport, they have free-to-air coverage. It may not be a lot, maybe only three games a week, but that's all you need. All you need is your team. In WA, you get Dockers and Eagles on free-to-air. Maybe the delays, which are a nuisance, but you know it's still free-to-air. I wouldn't mind if the T20 World Cup was delayed or something. It's best to have it live like the grand final, but delayed is better than nothing. Even an hour highlights on Channel 9 in the evening after the game. I know the time zone's inconvenient at 10, 11 o'clock at night, but even an hour highlights the next day would be very helpful. But live is best, but if that doesn't happen, hopefully we can achieve that. So I need your support. I'm doing a petition and I mean, I can't take them on alone. I need to push for the ideas and Channel 9, I think, have done an amazing job 
at broadcasting cricket to West Australians and Australians for 40 years. And it is absolutely wonderful. Right. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye for now and sign that petition on change.org. Go.